WebEx has been the gold standard of webinar delivery, of online conferences, online meetings for years. The biggest problem people have had with WebEx, frankly, has been uh, the matter of cost involved with using the service. That's changing right now, though, and I want to take a look here at, uh, at, the, at the new WebEx platform that right now is only available in beta. Um, I am a beta user. I want to show you what it looks like on the back end, and, and I'll let you know as soon as it becomes available. Um, take a look at the top of the screen here. This is, this is very, very neat. Um, right from the get-go, they have some absolutely phenomenal training. And if you click on the link up there, you see they've got some really, really great, nice, short videos. There's an overview of the system. There is uh, you know, some, some discussion about the meetings how to share files, mobile access. Now, this is pretty exciting here, uh, the mobile access, because you can schedule a, uh, a webinar or a meeting or conference on WebEx, and that meeting can be, uh, can, you know, can be registered, can be attended using an iPad or an iPhone and a mobile device. Very, very easy, very, very neat. Um, they also have a complete suite of productivity tools so that you can use this platform with your Outlook. You know, schedule, uh, schedule meetings directly from your Outlook, uh, from your calendar. Um, you can have a collaborative document uh, in an Excel document and start an instant meeting uh, with a colleague right from within Excel, from within Word. Um, so there's a you know, suite of productivity tools that's very, very exciting to me, um, and I think you'll find it as well. Um, if you take a look at this dashboard, you know, it's very, very uh, socialized, very, very easy. Uh, you see my, I've got my picture there. I can uh, make myself available or not uh, to the people in my team and the people uh, who I share my space with. There is a, a chat function here. Uh, I can build this up with a contact list, and this is a chat much like, uh, you know, other existing chats, but this is, uh, you know, just uh, devoted to, to WebEx attendees. Um, it, it, and in the first tab, in the home tab here on my, on my profile, I have an ability to set up an, a meeting immediately, to schedule one, and also to upload documents that I can share in the meetings. If I want to go and schedule a meeting, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to schedule my first meeting here. I'm going to call this uh, my first, uh, let's see, Fran Torson's first, first WebEx meeting on the new beta. How about that? Let's see how this goes. Um, I will uh, schedule this to uh, run tomorrow morning. How about tomorrow morning at, uh, I'll do this, I'll do an early morning meeting and then invite everybody from my, from one of my groups. How about that? I'll make that 7 a.m. Pacific time, uh, make it an hour long, and I'll make it a recurring meeting that I will have daily all week long. I'll end it uh, at the end of this week. So I can just use their built-in calendar over here to say I'll end it then. And uh, I will put in the names. I'll come back to this in a little bit. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll put my name here right now. I'll put one of my other email addresses. I will get the link, and then I will send that out. I'll see how that works to invite other people. So just for the sake of discussion right now, I will use another email address. I can insert an agenda here if I like. I can assign a password, and I can set the audio connection uh, in this case, I'm just going to leave the audio, and uh, I have the option to record the meeting, and I will do that. I'll record the meeting, so we'll see how those recordings work. So I will definitely do that. I'll schedule it. Voila. Our meeting is scheduled, and when it's time to start, I'll click that button. I can edit any part of this I like, and there are additional options. I can cancel it, I can do that, and I can add additional information. Uh, I will see a list of who's invited over here when I have that finished. And let's go up here to the next tab. Uh, I can insert files here. 
So if I want to have a meeting and I want, or in a webinar, and I want to share a document, if I want to share a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or a PDF file or anything like that, I can uh, upload those things right here and, and be able to share. All right. Um, I can also, oh, I can, okay, so yeah, I can upload them. I can create folders and I can create a, a document on the web. Um, I can also take a look at my contacts, add new contacts, and import contacts. If I want to import contacts, I can do that. Let's see how they're doing that exactly. All right. I can edit, I can remove. Okay, so I can um, import contacts from Gmail, Yahoo, and other apps. Let's take a look up here. We have downloads. This is pretty neat. Okay, here's the WebEx meetings application. Uh, and again, this is something I've already added to my operating system. They have different uh, downloads for Mac and PCs. There are productivity tools again here that let you integrate WebEx with your other applications uh, and tailor them to your browser. Uh, recording and playback uh, options, and again, the WebEx Universal Toolkit. That yeah, This is kind of neat, and, and I will be playing with that, and I'll do a separate video on that. That lets you add WebEx files, as well as audio flash and other web pages, on a, uh, on a PowerPoint presentation, so that you can display multimedia effects on your PowerPoint. And that's very, very neat, because you can do that either on the webinar, or you can take your recorded uh, documents uh, that you create on WebEx and you can import those into your PowerPoint for use elsewhere. So that is a very, very cool tool. So this is a first look at, at the WebEx beta. And again, more, lots of really, really good stuff here. Uh, good getting started information. WebEx does an extraordinary job with videos. They're very, very short. They're to the point. They're very, very easy to understand. Um, they are issuing release notes during the beta, and what, 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 off, what, what a company does when they have a beta product is that when they make additions and changes to the product, uh, they issue the release notes. So you can see the kinds of things that they've done here um, with, this, uh, with, this, with this here. Uh, you know, they've added the chat. Uh, what else? We probably start at the bottom here. Okay, full screen video. Uh, it was, it's able to share Microsoft 210 presentations, multimedia sharing. Uh, they disclose uh, different uh, problems that they have with the system or issues. I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say problems. I, you know, there were always bugs when you're working with it with a new with a new with a new uh, with a new system. Uh, and this is very very neat. And uh, there's a chance for beta testers to offer feedback, and then at some point in time you know, uh, upgrade to, uh, to a new uh, version when the beta is complete. So I think this is very, very good. I think this is very, very cool. I think WebEx has something good cooking, and I think it's definitely worth looking at. Okay, so one more thing here before we sign off on WebEx. I just got a email in my inbox, which is the alert that I sent out. And I want you to take a look at this. I like this. This is really nice. I like the HTML format. Uh, okay, this is the invitation again to join the webinar or the, for the WebEx meeting. Um, nice, nice graphics here, nice little icons, very, very easy join button. Uh, again, there's no agenda there, so there's nothing appearing, but if there was an agenda, that would appear there. There is a call-in number um, as well as a VOIP, so you can attend either way. If I had any files that were attached to that meeting, uh, they would be accessible uh, with, a, with a click of a, of a mouse here. So if I had any PDF documents or Word documents or Excel spreadsheets or anything like that, uh, a webinar attendee would be able to access that prior to the meeting, and that's pretty neat. So this is good. at. Uh, there's a, a link here to create an account, a collaborative account, and so forth and so on. So at any rate, take a look at that. I like that. I like the way that looks. Sometimes those other 
webinar invitations get a little bit confusing. I think this is this is quite neat, and I think participation and uh, an attendance uh, at a WebEx uh, online meeting is probably going to be uh, somewhat better just because the invitation is a whole lot easier to understand. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.